Singapore's farms and food supply are feeling the heat as recent high temperatures damaged crops and depleted livestock yields. Farmers say production is down as much as 20 percent. The National Environment Agency earlier warned that hot April weather would persist in the first half of May. Experts say erratic weather patterns could continue due to climate change, affecting food security and inflating prices. Chloe Chu reports. Making hay while the sun shines. Not quite the case for local farmers. Singapore has been under a warm spell, with the mercury at certain areas hitting a record 37 degrees Celsius in May. And some farms are feeling the heat. This goat farm is looking at a 15% drop in milk yield, and it's managing the slide by helping the goats stay cool. The goats will drink more water, uh, we will add a bit more minerals into their water supply. So these uh, minerals will help to regulate the body temperature, at the same time will also uh, let the goats be mentally more calm so that the heat will not get into them. At the same time, uh, as you can see, the farm has a lot of ventilation fans. We will turn the fan on for a longer duration of time. That also means utility bills are around $600 higher. Another chicken and vegetable farmer says his birds are affected too. The breed that I'm growing is supposed to reach up to four to five kilos, but we only hit about three, three and a half here. They spend a lot of the energy uh, that they, they get from their food. Instead of putting it to growth, they put it to regulating their body temperature. He adds that the warm conditions are perfect for breeding spider mites, broad mites and aphids. These pests attack the crops and stunt its growth for weeks, delaying harvest. There are certain pests which are more prevalent in uh, uh, hot temperatures. It's also difficult because if we ever need to treat the plant, even if we're just spraying water to try and dislodge the pest, um, the, the water and the heat don't go well together because then you start to run into issues with high humidity and uh, warm temperatures and you get like fungal diseases, bacterial diseases. One expert says the heat will slow Singapore's 30 by 30 goal of producing more of its own food by the end of the decade. That goal definitely is being hurt or affected uh, seriously by the more rapid uh, climb of climate change than even scientists had imagined uh, a few years ago. I think heat and flood resistant varieties need to come online very, very, very fast. Professor Thomas adds that farmers around the world face the same situation. Several countries in Southeast Asia have already seen higher food prices because of shrinking produce. Farmers are bracing themselves for more heat waves like this. In just a couple of months, all these goats will move to their new home in Neotiu. The new farm that's going to be three storeys high has been designed to have better ventilation so it's more comfortable for the goats. It will also have more fans, higher ceilings and additional shelter to shield them from sun rays. But Professor Thomas says eventually the root of the problem is still climate change and more must be done to combat it.